It's been 22 years in the making. San Diego, 1995, and now Bermuda, 2017. Once again, the America's Cup is New Zealand's Cup. Kia ora, good evening. That was how Peter Montgomery called it as Team New Zealand won back the America's Cup. And we now know that Peter Burling and his men beat Oracle with damaged foils on the boat, a problem they've been managing since day one of the Challenger finals against Artemis. Here's Melissa Davies from Bermuda. Take it away, Peter. Once again, the America's Cup is New Zealand's Cup. In a campaign that so often has left Team New Zealand on the outer circle, it was fitting that the Kiwis would cruise alone down the final leg to cross a line in sailing history. There will be no fairy tale comeback this time around. Jimmy Spitler. It's been 22 years in the making. San Diego, 1995, and now Bermuda, 2017. Once again, the America's Cup is New Zealand's Cup. Kia ora, good evening. That was how Peter Montgomery called it as Team New Zealand won back the America's Cup. And we now know that Peter Burling and his men beat Oracle with damaged foils on the boat, a problem they've been managing since day one of the Challenger finals against Artemis. Here's Melissa Davies from Bermuda. Take it away, Peter. Once again, the America's Cup is New Zealand's Cup. In a campaign that so often has left Team New Zealand on the outer circle, it was fitting that the Kiwis would cruise alone down the final leg to cross a line in sailing history. There will be no fairy tale comeback this time around. Jimmy Spithill has lost his magic wand. The ghosts of San Francisco no match for Kiwi spirit. Very well beaten. For a moment, every Kiwi felt the elation of being in Peter Burling's shoes. As champagne was sprayed in Bermuda, the two men so instrumental in this campaign soaked it all in. It's absolutely incredible feeling to you know, know that, that America's Cup's now, now going to go home to New Zealand. and you know, It's something you know, we're, we're just blown away by you know, the way we could go out in style today. Burling's parents have lived every minute of this dream with their son watching from the shore. He's been the bedrock He's achieved what he came here to achieve. I think he'll feel really good about that, but he knows all too well the whole strength of the team behind him as well. Crucially, his Olympic teammate Blair Tuke. <laughs> A formidable pairing, two boys from humble backgrounds now with the most lucrative prize in world sailing. It's a feeling money couldn't buy, not even the money of Oracle's billionaire owner Larry Allison, who consoled a deflated Jimmy Spittle. No, I'm just saying, I mean, you compete at the very, very highest level, you're not going to win every time. If you won two of the last three, that's not bad, mate. But this cup was to go to the youngest ever helmsman to win it, Peter Burling, and with him the skipper who fought back from the pain of 2013. Oracle may have come back then, but Glenn Ashby knows the true meaning of never give up. Ladies and gentlemen, we now present the America's Cup to Emirates Team New Zealand! The cup is what this team came for, the accolades and even the Louis Vuitton bags thrown out to the crowd, just extras. The adversity they've faced along the way has been no secret, from backlash around Dean Barker's exit to funding cuts, financial alliances against them and more recently serious damage to their dagger boards which they had to cautiously nurse since the semi-finals. We've lived with this now since that day or since we found it and they've been tested every night with um, ultrasound, the guy's been basically living here doing it every night and it has been growing. Uh, so, you know, every time we do a, a tack or a jibe <laughs> or whatever, I've just gone, oh, hold on, please hold on, and they have. Glenn Ashby referenced their ongoing struggles on stage. The guys standing here behind me and also our, our group in front have, have absolutely fought tooth and nail right the way through this campaign and we were very much a small group for a long time and to, to come through 
and win this bloody trophy after uh, four years of hard work is uh, a big credit to the team. Team New Zealand CEO Grant Dalton has made no secret of the Obviously fact that his not. old rival Sir Russell Coots has been one he counts as making the Kiwi's life harder. And he couldn't resist a cheeky dig when his phone went off in the press conference. We were looking at peddling at that stage. He said, that'll be Russell. <laughs> In an interview with News Hub, Coots admitted there was no sugarcoating Oracle's loss, saying Team New Zealand's campaign was one of the most impressive ever, a campaign that ends his winning streak in five America's Cups. All good things come to, come to an end sooner or later, and that's sports, you know. It's, it's, uh, you know I've, I've had a great time in, in, in America's Cup and certainly no complaints, you know. It's, it's been great. And while Coots has previously said a one-off cup event in Auckland wouldn't work, now he seems to have changed his tune. It'll be you know, a spectacular event down in New Zealand and hopefully you know, it's going to keep growing and, and, and get better and better. I'm sure it will, you know, so, so uh, yeah, future's bright. There's no backtracking from Dalton, who has stuck to his guns throughout this campaign. Victory feels sweet. I think what makes it sweeter is the way we went about it and we, we were clinical, we thought outside the square, we, we did it differently, we didn't sign the framework agreement because we didn't believe in it, um, you know we really were the lone wolf and, and today that feels like it was the right move. Even Jimmy Spittle had to agree. It's no secret, Grant Dalton and I don't usually see eye to eye but man I mean what an incredible um, effort to come back and from something like that and, and get it done. And while gracious in defeat, he couldn't resist just a little final jab. Clearly I, I see some real upside in, in uh, somewhat of a nationality rule. Um, and let's, let's look at Emirates Team New Zealand, another Aussie skipper just won the America's Cup. Comments like that were water off the Kiwis' backs today. The shore crew took a dunk, whether they liked it or not. And the boss walked back to the party with a tight grip on the star attraction. Is this that moment you've been dreaming of? Yeah, it just, it, I feel like we're stealing it at the moment, frankly. <laughs> it's definitely yours, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, isn't it great? That's the way we do it. That's the way we roll. And roll into the party it did, pass through the hands of the crew, who are now its Kiwi caretakers. Tonight, for one night, it's not about the politics, but the party. And even Oracle wanted in on the fun. The crew turned up to the party at the Team New Zealand base, including skipper Jimmy Spittle. When Grant Dalton was asked how he thought Spittle might be feeling, he said he couldn't care less. He said Oracle, the biggest software company in the world, had just been beaten by little old New Zealand software. And now they have the hardware to prove it. For the next five days, they'll pack and soak up the atmosphere here in Bermuda before they're expected return home on Wednesday next week. In Bermuda, Melissa Davies, News Hub.